2020. Now the facility are basically to make a complaint against stalking in the smallest to lodge an FIR directly in the nearest police station to make written complaint against the stalker to authorities of workplace or illegal sales paid to the institution to make complaints in cyber sales which is established to register the cases uh, and to provide explicit reducing to the victims. Having said that, I want to say again this question of you know complaining or filing the complaint before cyber sales is not that easy in India because very restricted number of jurisdictions within this country actually have this particular uh, you know scope of actually filing. Uh, Lalbada basically has a cyber cell, uh, Mumbai has a strong cyber cell. There is another uh, case over here, Ramesh Chandra, other one was the GNC hospital here, court stated that uh, you know, how does for forensic science come over here? I just give an example. Uh, court stated here, first and foremost, requirement for expert evidence to be admissible is that it is necessary to hear the expert evidence. This is that the matter is outside the knowledge and experience of the layman. Why I have mentioned is because when it comes down to cyber stalking, it is very technical and there are you know, judges, they themselves also require the expertise of a you know, cyber expert to come over there and to appreciate whatever you know, evidence is produced before that. And I have just mentioned about the fact that Gobert versus Merida of pharmaceuticals, this is a you know, judgment of uh, 1993, uh, having the federal rules of evidence, uh, where privately there has been a that means any particular scientific evidence will be provided to the court, like, like in the context of a cyber crime, uh, the evidence uh, that is being produced, whether it is being allowed or disallowed, these are the criteria.